Okay, hi everyone, we are live. It's so nice to see you. My name is Jessica. I'm the social media and community manager at University of the People. And it's an honor to be here with our business administration student, Crystal. Hey, Crystal, how are you? Jessica, I'm doing well. It's beautiful here in Jamaica. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love it. It feel I feel the Jamaican vibes like coming through the computer with uh, your background. So I love the colors. Um, okay, so just want to say hi to all our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I encourage everyone to interact with each other. This is a platform for you to ask Crystal questions. You can ask me questions. Um, you can ask each other questions. It's just like one more way to, um, you know, to interact with each other, to bring an online university into an in-person setting. So here we are. So let's get started. So Crystal, you said you're in Jamaica. Hi, how's Jamaica? Jamaica is nice and sunny. I'm actually overlooking the ocean right now, so it's wonderful. Wow, I love it so much. You are like vibrating with your like energy. I don't know if that's a weird thing to say in an interview, but... Um, that Jamaican sun, it's, it must be doing something for you. <laughs> um, anyways, so, okay, you live in Jamaica, and what do you study? So I'm studying the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Okay, and how did you decide to study that? Well, I, I've always loved entrepreneurship, and I always want to, you know, how to, to learn how to build a successful business. So I decided to study also, I'm interested in human resources and training and development. So I decided that I, business administration would be a great fit for me. Okay, great. And I'm curious um, if there's other viewers here who are also business administration students. Why don't you let us know in the comments? Um, you know what? Let us know if you're a business administration student. Let us know what you're studying. Let us know where you live. We'd love to hear from everyone. Um, I'm not seeing many comments coming in. Maybe there's a delay, but I encourage you to comment. Um, okay, so how did you hear about University of the People? Well, I actually heard about it from a friend of mine. He is doing the the computer science degree with you and he actually told my husband about it and then I saw my husband on the website and I was like what is that and I saw I, I went on the website immediately and I, and I realized that you guys have a business administration degree so I said okay let me sign up and the rest is history okay I love it and I actually found you because you started um, posting some YouTube videos about University of the People. So do you want to talk a little bit about your YouTube channel? Definitely. I, I started the YouTube channel because I was so amazed with University of the People. I decided I have to share it with people in Jamaica because there are so many people in Jamaica that don't cannot afford to get a university degree. So, you know, I wanted to share it with them. and. So that's how I started. And then I decided that I'm going to add study tips and other stuff, self-development stuff, you know, and self-care just to, you know, yeah, help just others. A little bit. Okay. So um, we are going to post your YouTube channel on all our social media um, later today. So watch out for it. You can access it there. Um, okay. And how long have you been studying at the university? I actually started in January, so I'm on my second term now. And how is it going? Well, to be honest, it is amazing. When I just started, it was a bit difficult because it was so much information that I had to take in, you know, a lot of reading, but I got used to it so much so that when I was on the two weeks break, I was like so bored, like, what am I going to do today? I don't have any school, you know, so I was looking forward to term two. So it, it has been a wonderful amazing experience for me. Okay, great. And um, maybe why don't you talk a little bit about your background? Like, did you have challenges in getting higher education in the past? Definitely. Um, at, my biggest challenge at first was financial. I could not afford because I was living on my own from I was 17. So I, I had to be paying bills. And I could not afford to pay my bills and pay for university. And I didn't want to get a loan because that would be another expense. So it was a challenge for me. When my financial situation finally improved, 
I was not able to go to school because of the time. You know, work, I wanted to continue working full time, but the courses that I was interested in, they only offered them full time. So it was really conflicting. So, you know, that was a huge challenge for me. And then last year, my husband and I decided that we're going to Canada. I was going to work part time. He's going to work full time. I got accepted and everything was on road to go to Canada by the end of the year. And then out of nowhere, COVID. So, you know, he lost his job. He has been out of job for a couple of months. He is working now, but at the time he was out of work for a couple months and we could not afford to go to Canada anymore. So, you know, I was really disappointed, but then you know, I just heard about University of the People in December and I was like, wow, I was going to Canada to study business administration and now here it's been handed to me and I can study from home and it's affordable. So I'm, I'm really grateful for University of the People. I love that story. Um, I just want to say also that I see deep, uh, I'm just reading the comments from Deep Pete. It's his first live event ever on University of the People. So thank you so much for joining. And also I see Joshua. He says him and his wife are starting the business administration program in June and you're living in Houston. That's so exciting. So welcome. Um, okay. So um, great. So you, I'm sorry, does your, your husband doesn't uh, study with you or at UO people, does he? He actually started computer science, but he had to stop because he was actually studying um, something different at the moment. And I told him not to start University of the People, but he said, no, I want to start, I want to start. So he could not manage both courses at the same time. So he had to stop University of the People. So he actually plans to start again next term. So hopefully that okay. works. Yes. Amazing. Um, that's so exciting. I love it when we find out about couples who are studying together. Couples or like parents and kids. If anyone is a couple or has a child or a parent studying with them, let us know. I love to hear those stories also. Um, okay, so why did you want to get um why did you want to pursue higher education? Why did you want to get a degree? What was your intention? Well, I, I, I'm the type of person, I like to have a lot of opportunities. Without a degree, I am kind of limited to what I can do. So having a higher education allows me a lot of opportunities. And it also allows me to, to, to work with in a, in a field that I'm passionate about, you know? So I, I really want to do that because I want to do something that I'm passionate about. I want to be able to have options and so I can pick, choose and refuse what I want to do, you know? And of course, I want to increase my financial situation as well. So that is a big plus. Right, I get it. Um, I want to say that I forgot to say in the beginning of this event that um, there isn't a link to the application page. I see, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your word, your name correctly, at uh, Lucidity. Um, he said, how do I apply for this? And all you have to do is copy the link to the description and paste it into your browser. Um, okay, so why don't you tell us, Crystal, about your experience at UO People, maybe the, the students you've met, the uh, courses, the course instructors, maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Okay, well, the course has been amazing so far. I have learned so much, it is amazing. Last term I did introduction, to university, it is University 101, and I did um, business management, and I learned a lot. And this term, I'm doing accounting and English, and I, I, I always feared accounting, but you know, so far I'm doing well, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. And the instructors are amazing. I remember when I had a problem with one of my grades, I reached out to them, and they replied to me almost immediately and updated my score and you know they they, they kept encouraging me if you have any issues always reach out to us so you don't feel alone even though you're home and everyone is like a million miles away you don't feel like you are alone you always have someone you can reach out to when you're doing peer assessments you get to see your peers and see how they think you know sometimes you may not you have the same assignment but they do they write something and you're like interesting that's a different point of view so you you get to learn from each other 
And, you know, there is Yammer as well, where you can meet a lot of people. I remember one time I was having an issue and I went on Yammer and I saw that somebody else was having the same issue and then somebody actually replied with the answer. So I didn't even have to type anything to find the answer. So, you know, it's amazing. You don't, you cannot feel lost. A lot of times when persons um, do online school, they may feel lost because I actually did an online course previously and it was a very hard experience because no one was there to communicate. You, everything, you just had to do everything by yourself. But with University of the People, it was ama it is amazing. Like, I don't feel lost. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to do it. My, I know my deadlines. I know everything. So it's, it's, it's an amazing experience for me. Okay. I love that. I'm so happy to hear that you're ne you never feel alone when you're studying online and you're having such a positive experience. I have a question from Julia. Julia, Hi, Julia. Asks <laughs> Hi, Julia. How are you? Crystal, what's your favorite part of UO People? I believe my favorite part of University of the People is that I'm able to study from home. Like, I, I can get up. Like, I start working at 11, and I so I study in the mornings. So I study in the morning, and I can just study. I can do my assignments anytime. I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to miss a class this morning. I, I have to sit in a one-hour class. You know, I can do my studying at any time and that is just amazing for me because my life is super busy and i could not commit to a classroom situation so that is the biggest catch for me to be honest okay great and also one more just just said <laughs> A Jamaican, first of all, hi Joss, thanks for your comment. Being a Jamaican student, did you choose to seek assistance via scholarship? If yes, how was or is your experience? Um, I did not choose to um, do any scholarship, so I could not tell you about that. Okay, so we'll, we'll find you. Um, Joss, if you want to know about somebody's scholarship experience, why don't you DM us? We can put you in touch with the appropriate office or student or whatever it may be. Um, I'm just looking at the comments, and I want to say hi to Alex, Alex Machalos. I don't even know if I just said your name correctly, but I am sorry if I butchered it. Um, Alex has been a really great advocate of UO people, and he is a graduate, so congratulations, Alex. And he has he also has a, a YouTube channel where he dances, so check out oh, Alex's awesome. YouTube channel also. Okay, so we had a lot of great questions. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you? Uh, okay, so are you also working, uh, yes. Chris? Yes, I am. So I, my main job, I work as a virtual assistant. So I work from home and I've been working from home for the past three years. Additionally, I, I do crochet on the side. So I make mostly bikinis, but I can make anything like you just tell me what you want and I can I can crochet it. Oh, that's <laughs> and, so cool. Yeah, You're so and, talented. <laughs> I try. I, ha I have to give a lot of credit to YouTube for helping me to some new stuff. <laughs> And um, I actually recently launched uh, a new business. I, I created this online platform for young children because last year in COVID, I, I just decided to just start studying a lot of stuff. So I, I studied early childhood development. So I'm officially a certified early childhood teacher. So I created um, a Spanish course for young children so that they can t learn Spanish from the early childhood years. And these are video-based interactive courses. So that's that's something that I just started this month, actually. Wow, that's really great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, there was another question. Yeah, I did butcher Alex's last name, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, Alex, you'll have to message me on how I say your name because we've known each other for too long for me to butcher it. Um, Okay, where we, there was another question, and I can't find it. Um, so I'm going to ask my own question, <laughs> which is, um, uh, how do you manage your studies around your lifestyle? Because you're quite busy. Yes, I'm quite busy. So the good thing is that I, I don't start my job until 11. So I have the entire morning free. 
So what I do is I ensure that I, I create a schedule and I don't procrastinate because procrastinate is a huge killer in my opinion. So what I do is I divide my work into bite-sized portions. So for example, Thursday morning, I would start, the week starts on Thursday, by the way. So Thursday morning, I start by grading my, my peers' written assignments and then start reading. And then I, comp I try to complete all of my reading by Friday afternoon. And then Saturday, I do my discussion posts, reply to anybody that has posted. And then Sunday, I take a break. And then Monday, I do my, my, my written assignments, yes. And then Tuesday, I do my journal. So on Wednesday, I am free. So when I, when I divide the work up like that, you know, it really gives me the opportunity to have a life. I am not procrastinating. I'm not waiting until last minute and feeling flustered, clustered, you know, so I'm just taking it one step at a time and just going through smoothly. And that has really made me feel like I'm not overwhelmed with the work. Okay, amazing. And um, I'm gonna just ask Putu, and Putu, sorry if I didn't say your name right. Putu asks, what's your opinion about peer assessment and UO people? This is a contentious topic sometimes. Some people have mixed feelings, mixed feelings about it, which is okay. We feel very strongly about peer assessment, um, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Well, to be honest, when I heard about peer peer assessment, I was like, "Oh my God, somebody is going to is going to grade me, and probably they're, they're going to give me a low grade, and my score is going to go down." And I was really worried, and I feel like probably I don't know how to grade them. So you know, it was it was really hard for me at first, but then. I, I got used to it. So right now, I mean, it's it's a part of the university, so it makes no sense that I, you know, complain about it and say, I don't want to do it because I have to do it. And it's just interesting. Sometimes my peers do grade me and they give me good feedback that I can learn from. Other times, it's not so good. And I, because I remember once I was marked for a written assignment, the person said that I didn't use Romans, uh, Times New Romans, but I actually did. <laughs> so I reached out to my instructor and my instructor updated my grade. So you don't have to worry that somebody is um, grading you unfairly. If you notice the issue, just reach out to your instructor and they will update it for you. So, you know, I don't really worry about it anymore. I just do what I have to do. I just ensure that I am doing my best in grading my peers fairly and hope that they can do the same. <laughs> Okay, I love that. Um, okay, so one last question. I know you're a very busy woman. Um, what are your career aspirations? What do you want? What do you see yourself doing? Well, I I love training and development, and I love human resource management. So I think that I would pursue a career in that path, and I also love entrepreneurship. So I want to be able to build a successful business that I can earn passive income you know, and travel the world <laughs> with my husband. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, this is my goal, too, is to travel the world as well. We just need to figure out how to do it with my dog. But um, okay. anyway, so great interview. If you So thank you so much, Crystal. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. And your videos on your people are so amazing. I am going to uh, be posting them very shortly on our social media pages so you guys, so our viewers can access them and see what you're doing. Um, also, I uh, a chat, it's called Crystal's World, right? Crystal's yes. World. Okay, so also you can check on YouTube for Crystal's World and you'll see her her amazing videos that are so like sweet and entertaining. Um, and that's all I got. So if you guys haven't applied to you people yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, just copy the link in the description of this event and paste it into your browser. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment, you can DM us, you can email admissions at UL People. For our students, you can always email your advisor um, or, uh, you know, your, your advisor. Just, yeah, I'll leave it <laughs> your advisor. So I got, I got jumbled in the words. Um, but thank you so much, everyone. And special thank you to Crystal, who has been a great, great, great interview. So,
Thank you so much, Crystal. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to have you. And to our viewers, thank you so much for also tuning in. Uh, we couldn't do it without you and Crystal. So thank you. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy wherever you are. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.